introducing our powerful trigger-based CEV controller, designed to take your macro oscillators to the next level. Explore new sonic territories with ease and create a complete drum set with modules you already have. Imagine you want to use a plates or a BIA as a kick, but you feel that this task is too small for such a beast. Maybe there is a way to modulate the BIA or the plates so you can also get a snare or a hi-hat from it in the same patch. In theory, you can use an 8 or 16 step sequencer to set CV values in a way that sets the module in those positions and with the rhythm that you want. The problem with that solution is that it's very difficult to change rhythms or perform live changes like muting one of the sounds. Using our controller, you can effectively control multiple sounds from a single oscillator using triggers, much like a preset selector. Imagine having three triggers that will instantly set a BIA or plats as a kick, snare and hi-hat. Traffic will translate a drum sequence into CV values. Our controller features three rows of three knobs with each row having an output for the values of the knobs. You can select the active column of knobs using the trigger inputs. The three outputs are simultaneous, making this a three-channel controller. Plus, the global trigger output sends a trigger whenever there is a trigger in any of the inputs, ensuring seamless synchronization of triggers and CV values. The CV outputs will range between plus and minus 8 volts and can be set to unipolar as well. So whenever a trigger comes, it will send the CV values of the knobs to the outputs and a trigger will be sent as well. Also, because two sounds cannot trigger at the same time since we are just triggering a single voice, the trigger inputs have a priority system whenever more than one trigger is received at the same time. For traffic, the input with the highest priority is the first one, then the second and finally the third one. The priority system is based on the rising edge and the state of the input. This is done to keep a correct priority of sounds when using swing in our drum pattern. The internals of traffic use analog multiplexers, so the CV outputs are analog voltages coming from the knobs. When adjusting values, you won't hear steps while moving the knobs. When switching to the middle position, you get a new random rearrangement of the knobs. 
creating a new set of three sounds. Going back to the first position will take you back to your sounds. This position is perfect to explore new sounds or create instant breaks. The last position, called Groove, will keep the sounds in triggers 1 and 2 and create a random loop of sounds in trigger 3. Trigger 3 will output a new combination of CVs in a loop of 16 steps. The sounds from the previous mod will be inherited, so it keeps musical coherence. To understand this mode better, let's see a demonstration. Because you may want to loop a different number of sounds, you can configure the trigger 2 input as a reset input by moving up the config switch number 2 on the back. Whenever you make a change on the configuration switches, you will need to switch on and off the module for the changes to take place. This change will only affect the groove mode. There is a little surprise inside each traffic. We ship an alternate firmware that can be activated from the configuration switches on the back. No need for cables or computer. This firmware will activate a whole different module using the same hardware. We call this module water. Because we know that changing the behavior of knobs and inputs is confusing and difficult to remember, we include an overlay for free. You can watch how water works on a dedicated video in our channel. We invite you to watch it to fully understand it. In short, water is the ultimate vector CV generator module for creating complex and interrelated sequences and modulations in your Eurorack setup. With an 8-step CV sequencer and 3 related outputs in different phrases, water allows you to explore new sonic territories and generate unique rhythms.